Hi everyone. So, continuing our discussion on past trees and derivations, um, I'll take the same example that I was talking about in the previous video, which is s goes to s s or a. And there's actually two derivations that I can have for this. Uh, there's something called the leftmost derivation, and there's something called the rightmost derivation. What the leftmost derivation means is that at every step. Um, so I need to be given a string. So let's say I have a a a a. That's the string that I've been given. Um, so what the leftmost derivation means is that at every step I will always expand the leftmost non-terminal. So I'm starting off with the start symbol s, and what I do is uh, because I have only one, I go to s s, and um, here what I do is I take this s and I expand that. So this takes me to s s s. Remember this was the s that I um, expanded. And in the new one that I have, this is the s that I expand. So um, this takes me to s s s s. Followed by um, taking this s to an a. And uh, then I'll take the next s to an a because I'm going to get a s s s s and a is uh, a terminal symbol. So what I'm going to land up with is this thing right here. And corresponding to this derivation, the tree that I get is called the leftmost derivation tree. So um, the leftmost derivation tree would look something like this. S goes to s and s. And the leftmost s splits into s and s. Once again, the leftmost s splits into s and s. And finally, I get my a's. So this is the derivation tree that I'll get using a leftmost derivation. So this is called a leftmost derivation tree or LMDT. So uh, similarly, I can also have the rightmost derivation and corresponding to that, I'll have the rightmost derivation tree. In the rightmost derivation, it'll be this s that I expand, it'll be this s that I expand and I would expand this s first, but that's not going to make too much of a difference. So the rightmost derivation tree that I'll get would be something like this s splits into s and s, uh, this s splits into s and s and this s splits into s and s and finally all of them go to a so this is the rightmost derivation tree that i get and um, i in the last video i talked about ambiguous and unambiguous grammars so in case of an unambiguous grammar what's going to happen is uh, the leftmost and the rightmost derivation trees are going to look exactly the same because as I said, for an unambiguous grammar, I can have just one parse tree or one derivation tree. So it's going to look exactly the same. If I have a leftmost derivation tree and a rightmost derivation tree that look different, then my grammar is ambiguous. So uh, remember that the example that I've taken here is an example of an uh, ambiguous grammar. So that's about leftmost and rightmost derivations. And in the next video, we'll talk about recursive grammars. So I'll see you there. In the meanwhile, don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they can also learn all of this and drop the video a like. I'll see you next time.